And so, look, try it for a week. It's nothing, right? And you might think, oh, God, what, what you'll find if it works is, A, you don't get nearly as upset about the things that used to upset you. So, and that'll be a shock. You'll think, my God, I would have flown off the handle because of that before, and now it's hardly bothering me. So that's a lovely thing. And, and then the second thing is, if something bothers you, you'll recover way faster. The first thing I would do if you're highly emotional, like highly emotional, volatile, fly off the handle, a lot of mood variation, a lot of negative emotion, um, the first thing you might want to think about is whether or not there's actually something wrong with you, like physically. You might be ill, because illness can do that to people, and so you should go get yourself checked out. You know, you might have an inflammatory condition or something like that. that and the next thing I would check out is like, um, are, you sure, are you sure you're not hungry? I'm dead serious about this. I mean, with, with many of my clients who've been anxious, like a lot of them, they come in and say, I'm so anxious, I'm so anxious. I had this one client, she, she'd come in and she'd say, God, you know, I'm just, I'm so dead at the end of the day. I'm, I'm just wiped out. I've got no energy at all. All I can do is lay down. She was like 24. All I can do is lay down and watch like the same movie I watched the night before. Is that normal? It's like, well, no, it's not. So, and I, and I, and I knew this. I said, well, what, what do you eat? And she said, well, I, I usually don't have any breakfast. And then I have like a little bowl of rice for lunch. And I usually have something like that for, for dinner. And I thought, you live on two balls of rice a day. And you're wondering why when you come home at night after a full day's work, you don't have any energy. I said, well, have you considered the possibility that you're starving to death? <laughs> and I said, okay, look, here's what you do. Get up in the morning. And like, have two eggs. You don't have to enjoy them. You know, because people say, well, I'm not hungry. It's like, why is that relevant? That's not the issue here. It isn't like gourmet time. It's not starving to death time. So eat your two eggs and maybe in three months you'll enjoy it. You know, until then it'll be like chewing down rubbery cardboard. But it's not that big a deal. So, you know, we upped her caloric intake by a factor of about four. And she came back and it was like, I think she came back two more times. It's like, oh, I have lots of energy now. It's like, oh, good. You're not dying of starvation. It's like, and I'm telling you, like, if you're a volatile person, if you're a volatile person, try this. Eat a high protein, high fat meal in the morning. No sugar. And a big one. Like, have a steak. Have something solid. And, and don't, doesn't matter if you like it. Who cares? Cook it the night before. If, 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 if you don't want to cook it then. Just try it for a week and see what happens. My suspicions, I've had half my clients, I would say, have dropped their volatility levels 50% by eating a high fat, high protein breakfast. And then also notice that if you are crabby, you know, and volatile and touchy and you can't get along with anyone, um, go eat something. Like have two teaspoons of peanut butter and wait 10 minutes and see if you're still a witch. So, it, so for some people, and, and, and if you are a volatile person, like your, your, your blood sugar levels tend to move up and down more because you stress yourself out more. For some people, that really matters. And so, look, try it for a week. It's nothing, right? And you might think, oh, God, what, what you'll find if it works is, A, you don't get nearly as upset about the things that used to upset you. So, and that'll be a shock. You'll think, my God, I would have flown off the handle because of that before, and now it's hardly bothering me.